Released in 2003, Bottled Up stands as Jay Murray's inaugural young adult contemporary realistic novel, weaving a narrative around Philip Pip Downs, a high school student reliant on drugs and alcohol to navigate both the rigors of academia and the challenges posed by his alcoholic father. Throughout the storyline, Pip undergoes a transformative journey, realizing that while he cannot mend his dysfunctional family dynamics, he can assert control over his own life, serve as a positive influence for his younger brother Mikey, and attain the inner tranquility he craves. As the debut work of Murray, Bottled Up presents Pip as its first-person narrator, expressing his yearning to escape the confines of his seemingly suffocating existence. Clad in tie-dye shirts with tousled blonde locks and untied shoes, Pip embodies the stereotype of a rebellious substance user, meandering through school corridors in a haze of intoxication. Amidst his drug-induced haze, Pip nurtures a timid affection for Jenna, a seemingly wholesome classmate, while his companion Slayer and Johnny plunge deeper into substance abuse, with the latter venturing into drug dealing. However, Pip's routine is disrupted when he is ejected from class by his English teacher, propelling him towards a fateful encounter with Principal Geraldi. Confronted with the consequences of his actions, Pip is presented with a choice by Geraldi, attend all classes and participate in counseling sessions or face expulsion and the prospect of his father's wrath. Aware of the dire repercussions should Geraldi involve his father, Pip grapples with the realization that he stands at a critical juncture in his life. Recollections of a tumultuous childhood underscore Pip's narrative, marked by his father's volatile behavior and emotional abuse, illustrating the profound impact of familial dysfunction on his upbringing. Pip views his father as a Grinch-like figure, his smiles tinged with a hint of mockery rather than genuine warmth. His father embodies the archetype of a terrifying drunk who instills fear in his family. Pip, in turn, keeps his emotions tightly reined in, bottling them up, unwilling to confide in others about his tumultuous family life. Eve, his mother, appears distant and weary, lacking the fortitude to confront her husband's behavior. Pip gradually uncovers her own struggles with Valium abuse, further complicating the family dynamics. Meanwhile, his six-year-old brother Mikey idolizes Pip, oblivious to the full extent of their father's anger and the constant turmoil within their household. Despite Pip's attempts to maintain emotional distance, Mikey's persistent curiosity and desire to emulate his older brother chip away at Pip's resolve. Pip, recognizing the negative influence he exerts on Mikey, fears that his brother is destined to follow in their father's footsteps. Even amidst moments of recklessness, such as attending a tumultuous party with his friends Slayer and Johnny, where a confrontation ensues resulting in police intervention, Pip remains unchanged. His father's violent outbursts, culminating in a drunken assault that leaves Pip with a black eye and threatens Mikey's safety, drive Pip and his brother to seek refuge in the garage for the night. The following day, a facade of normalcy resumes, with Pip's father offering a token apology to his mother and a meager sum of money to Pip. At school, the arrival of a compassionate substitute teacher, Mr. Kirkland, marks a turning point for Pip. Mr. Kirkland, displaying genuine concern and respect, assigns the class the novel Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, prompting Pip to draw parallels between the protagonist and his own father. It's through Mr. Kirkland's encouragement that Pip begins to grasp the concept of self-control and agency over his own life. However, Pip's newfound introspection is spurred on by the looming threat of expulsion and the potential repercussions it may entail for his family's safety. Seeking solace and guidance, Pip turns to the school counselor, Claire Butler, grappling with the fundamental question of what he truly desires from life. He vocalizes his dissatisfaction with life, yet remains resistant to change. Alongside his regular attendance at group therapy sessions, Pip finds himself in the company of peers such as Mark, Darius, Paco, and Anthony, who openly share their aspirations for respect, security, and fulfilling careers like firefighting. Despite their encouragement for Pip to open up honestly, he perceives his participation in therapy as coerced and responds with sarcastic retorts to both his peers and the counselor, Claire. Claire, however, endeavors to penetrate Pip's emotional armor, suggesting that releasing his pent-up emotions could alleviate his suffering. Meanwhile, his peers caution him against associating with his drug-using friends. One fateful evening, Pip's unauthorized use of Johnny's mother's car leads to a police encounter, culminating in a confrontation with his inebriated father, who vehemently reinforces a bleak self-image upon Pip. As Pip's father's violent tendencies persist, Revelations about his family history further illuminate the cycle of abuse, 
with Pip learning of his grandfather's past cruelty towards his father. Matters escalate when Slayer and Johnny face legal repercussions for drug-related offenses, and Mikey, increasingly resentful towards Pip, draws parallels between his behavior and that of their father. A pivotal moment arrives when Pip's neglect inadvertently leads to Mikey's injury, prompting a profound reckoning within Pip. Consumed by guilt and remorse, he realizes the depth of his responsibility towards his brother and resolves to pursue a path of peace and redemption. Embracing a newfound clarity of purpose, Pip commits to sobriety and self-improvement, recognizing that while he may be unable to alter his parents' behavior, he can strive to be a positive influence in his brother's life and cultivate a brighter future for himself. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.